So for this last part, I just want to take a couple minutes to talk about a shortcut for 3x3 three three matrices. As we've seen in some of the examples, it looks like it's a lot of work to compute uh, determinants. For the 2x2 two two case, we do have a formula. And here is a little kind of trick that will help you to compute 3x3 three three matrices a little bit quicker. So let's say that I gave you a 3x3 three three matrix and I've written it out over here and then I've just written the entries like A11, A12 and so on. And now you want to compute the determinant. So the trick that you want to do is beside your matrix is just repeat the first column and then repeat the second column. Oh, that should be A32. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to think of some various diagonals. Okay, so I have a diagonal in this right here, and I have a diagonal right here, and I have a diagonal right here. So I have three down diagonals, and then I would have three up diagonals. I have three up diagonals. Okay, and what we're going to see, what the point is that the determinant of a matrix can be computed as follows. You take the three di down diagonals, and since they're green, I'll use green, and you're just multiplying those numbers together. So notice that I'm multiplying all the numbers in the first batch, and then I'm gonna add all the numbers in the second green circle. And then I'm gonna add together all of the numbers in the last green circle all multiplied. So all the down ones, I multiply all the entries together, and then I add them. And then for the numbers that are in the red, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to have to subtract A31, A22, A13. Then I'm going to subtract A32 times A23 times A11. And then I'm going to subtract A33, A21, A12. And this, if you can remember this little picture, this uh, that will allow you to compute all these numbers and that will allow you to give you our determinant. So here's our kind of example that we've been using throughout today's lecture and let's see how we would use it using this new trick. So I rewrite the first two columns beside it and I, I guess I messed up my coloring scheme here, but that's okay. Here are my three down diagonals. So I know that the determinant of A is going to be one times zero times three plus two times four times one plus one times three times four. And then my diagonals going maybe in this direction, circle these guys, gives me minus one times one minus two times four times one, and then I get minus three times three times two. And hopefully I did everything correctly here. Now these guys are both zero, so they go away. This is eight and this is negative eight, so they go away. And what do I have here? I have 12 and now I'm minusing, um, oh, th this should have been a two. I made a mistake somewhere. Yep, I made a mistake. This should have been a two right here. So that should have been a two and that should have been a, a two. So here I have a six and I'm minusing 18. And at the end I have minus 12, which is the exact same answer that I had before. So let me just kind of clean this up. This should have been a minus, this should have been a two over there. I apologize. Okay, so there we go. There's another way of computing the determinant of my matrix. Before we go for today, I just kind of want to highlight something and it will kind of leads into uh, next lecture. Let's say we wanted to find the determinant of this matrix and it's actually the same matrix as before, but I flipped the first row, first two rows around. And let's see what happens. So 3, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2. And now I'm going to compute the determinant. And as you get better at this, you can start doing it in your head. So 3 times 2 plus 3, so 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1, uh, 0 there. And then I have 4 times 1 plus 2, so plus 8. And now I want a minus 8, and I want a minus 6. And then I also want to minus a zero. And at the end of the day, I get 12.
Okay, so I'm actually getting a different answer, right? I'm getting that swapping road actually changes the determinant. So if you make any changes to the matrix, you may be destroying the determinant. And the whole point of the next lecture is to kind of control for this. So more details are coming. Hopefully you'll stick around and check it out in the next video. And I really want to leave here with a strong warning, right? And the warning is this trick for computing the determinant only works for three by three matrices. I've taught this course many, many times. I've said this many, many times, but it, I, I always end up with one or two students who try to do this on a four by four matrix. It doesn't work. So this trick only works for three by three matrix. It's kind of a, a little shortcut. Okay. Of course, Octave can compute the determinant of the matrix. And even if you hadn't even tried it, you probably would have guessed that this is the command for finding the determinant of your matrix. So what are the key points for today? Well, there's only kind of one main key point today is what is the determinant and what are the formulas for computing the determinant? So that is the key takeaway from today's lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to look at some properties of determinants. So I'll see you in lecture 17.